Collier? Yes. Uh, David Raymond, you uh, called the house looking for my wife a while ago? Yes, and I haven't heard from her. Well, I haven't either, and I'm a bit concerned. Uh, some disturbing things happened today. Uh, your call, not the least of them. I'm sorry if I disturbed you. Well, I've never delved into my wife's personal business, but I'm going to take an exception to that today. I have a hunch that that message you're passing is from your employer, Warren Lockridge. Is that correct? Why would he be giving an urgent message to my wife through you? He had to leave town suddenly. Oh, he's, he's not on bail. He's explicitly prohibited from leaving town. Well, that's what he wanted to explain to your wife. Well, explain what? He'll contact her as soon as he can. If you could just give her that message. Contact her about what? Look, I'd really rather talk to her directly. Well, I understand that. But jumping bail is a very serious offense. I'd like to know how my wife is involved. Miss Collier, would you answer me? This is not a court, and I'm not under oath. You are aiding and abetting a felon. He wanted to talk about the bail money with her and, and see if they could work something out. The bail money. My wife put up his bail. Warren is going to get his name cleared and the charges dropped because he is not a criminal. Well, I hope you respect her privacy and uh, don't mention her name in print. Of course. I would never think to do otherwise. <laughs>